You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike and today we have this pen for you. This is very special. It was loaned out by a viewer, friend of the channel, Matthew. So thank you very much, Matthew, for letting me borrow this pen for a few weeks. I've had this for about three weeks and I've been using it a fair amount. So uh, let's chat about this pen. The 3776 is a model that dates back to 1978. The Century edition of the pen or the Century model of the pen, which is sort of the standard now, like this or like this or... Those are the only two I have on my desk at the moment, but I've always got at least one or two of these in the rotation because I love them a lot. That Century Edition came out 10 years ago-ish. It was it was launched in uh, 2011, and it's now 2022, but I think there was some delay with, you know, the plague and such that uh, set it back. So this is the 10th anniversary of that pen. And it is, uh, it is a Century model for sure in a lot of details, but also a whole bunch of things have been altered or changed about this pen uh, that make it definitely worth talking about. So to begin with, it is a little bit shorter, you'll notice, than the standard pen because it has the flat tops, which is uh, specific to this pen. So that's pretty cool. On the finial here, you'll see it says 10th, and we have a nice little nib design there in the 10th. I think that's pretty cool. The finial has this nice cap around the, uh, the edge, and uh, the standard 3776 clip is here as well. You can see that. Actually, let's grab a gold one because they share trim. There we go. So standard clip, but a very different, uh, you know, cap configuration there. Moving down the barrel, you'll see these ridges here. Sometimes you'll hear these called ridged or ribbed. I think the appropriate term is really gathered is what they call this. And the original Century model had the gather up and down the barrel and cap. I believe the entire thing was uh, gathered on that first model. This one just sort of has it right here. And I actually think that looks really good. I, I like that a lot. The standard model here has a slightly different, slightly different cap band situation. You'll see it has the same kind of uh, gold cap band here with the same kind of stuff. They both say 3776, Century, Platinum, made in Japan, but then this sort of has a, uh, a bevel down towards the bottle, a bo the body, whereas this has uh, more of a, I don't know, more of a cigar band sort of situation going on there with a a stripe and all that. So a little bit different there. Moving down the pen, you have the same kind of situation down here at the bottom, except it's a flat end instead of a dome. And also this is where you'll find the number marking. This is number 142 out of 3776. So that's pretty cool. It's got a 42 on it. Everybody likes that. Uh, let's get inside here. Now, one of the things they added for the Sentry model was the slip and seal cap mechanism, which you'll actually see in this clear one pretty well. We'll compress like that. That is the slip and seal cap mechanism, which is supposed to keep it uh, from drying out for at least 100 days. That's that century thing. I, in practice, have had these not dry out for months and months at a time, which is very nice. So this also incorporates that slip and seal cap mechanism that's in a lot of platinum pens, maybe all of them at this point, but it's a really good selling point and something that I really enjoy. Uh, then we have a pretty standard section here. It also has a standard uh, converter. This is the regular old platinum converter. Nothing uh, different there. Let's bring that back on. There we go. Now, the nib is very different, and this is definitely worth noting, and it's actually the reason I really wanted to get my hands on this pen, uh, because it is a new design of nib, and this nib is going to be... Uh, is going to be going out to the rest of the 3776 line in the future. I don't know exactly when. None of the ones that I've seen come out so far or since this one was released have had the new nib, but I know we're going to be seeing that in the future. So let's grab one of the old ones here. Uh, there we go. And you'll see that it has a very different nib shape. It's a little bit longer. The tines are a little bit thinner. The overall body doesn't have as much of a uh, flare there. And what this is going to allow is it's going to allow there to be a little bit more flex in this nib than you'll get out of their older nibs. These nibs are known to be kind of a nail, and I really like that about them. It's one of the things I enjoy about Platinums. They are a very sure pen to write with. It doesn't feel like I need to be careful with them or anything like that. They are 14 karat gold, but they all write excellently, and I really enjoy the nibs on there. They do have a soft model of these nibs 
nibs or a soft variation of that nib. This one is not as soft as say the soft fine or the soft medium that they currently have, but there will be a chart, which I will put helpfully over here, that they have uh, put out there, which shows sort of like curves or what have you about um, you know softness and such. So this will be softer than the, uh, than the fine nib on the, uh, the original model. And so, uh, this will allow for more flexibility and that sort of thing. You can get a little bit of flex out of this nib. It is not what I would call any kind of, I wouldn't call it a flex nib. I would call it slightly soft. Uh, maybe even a little bit bouncy, but not to the extent of like a Pelican M1000 or something like that. It's still a fairly stiff nib, but it does have a nice feel to it. And you can probably double the line width with just a little bit of pressure added. Uh, and it hasn't seemed to railroad or do any of that stuff. I'll show you here in a little bit in a writing sample. However, I am not a uh, flex nib aficionado. I generally have a pretty soft hand, and so I don't, uh, I don't really push on nibs. And so I'm not really going to notice that, but I have enjoyed using this fine nib quite a lot and I usually steer away from platinum fine nibs in fact I don't have another one to show you next to this one because I usually go medium or broad on platinums so that's just kind of my preference for them or music nibs which are my absolute favorite I'm wondering if they're going to change the music nib and make that one a little softer as well no word on that yet also, I have to say, I was looking at a bunch of descriptions and this sort of thing of this pen online today and prep for this video, and it only comes in fine and medium in this anniversary version. And all of the verbiage talks about the fine nib being softer than the previous fine nib. None of them mention what the medium nib is like. So the medium nib I have seen and does have the same shape, but I haven't used it, and so I can't tell you if that one has the same kind of softness to it or not, although I imagine it does have some. So if you have that medium nib, hit the comments below and let me know what it feels like because I haven't gotten to use that one yet. Okay, so let's look at it next to some other pens. We'll do a little writing sample and away we'll go. Okay, so here we have it next to several other pens and I'll swap these out, uh, uh, swap a couple of these out just so we can get a better feel for how these, uh, how this, this stacks up. Uh, but I've put some more commonly known pens in here. So here we have the Platinum 3776 Century with the flat tops. Also, I kind of hope we get more flat top centuries. I like that. Uh, then we here we have the Burgundy, which was my very first 3776 Century. The uh, Lamy Safari, the Twisby Eco, and the Sailor 1911 standard size there. And you can see this is kind of in the same range as the rest of these, but you know a little bit shorter uh, than most. So there we go. Let's take the caps off and look at them that way. You can see that this is uh, the same length when you take the cap off, more or less, as the standard 3776, and also uh, just about the same, let me make sure this is squared up, yeah, just about the same here as, uh, as our Sailor 1911. Substantially shorter, of course, than the, the Lamy or the Twisby there. All right, let's post these. Most of these pens are not pens that I post in general, and I actually haven't been writing with this one posted at all. I just sort of posted it today for the review. Uh, I think that it is, um, it's a little bit heavier in the cap than the standard model. These do weigh uh, the same, but the cap, I th it's actually a gram lighter than the, uh, the standard 3776 when you have it uncapped. Uh, so I think there's a little bit of extra weight in the cap and it makes it for, a, it's a little bit unbalanced in the hand, I think, when posted. But that's uh, down to personal preference. Of course, these two become kind of comically long when you post them. Uh, sometimes I will post this one just because it feels a little bit short otherwise. But as you can see, pretty standard sort of size. It doesn't have anything uh, like a super deep posting cap or any of that th sort of thing. Okay, so here I have added in the, uh, the stats page page here for these uh, for this pen and uh, as you can see pretty standard sorts of stats 25 grams uh, cat 14 grams uncapped is a very nice sort of lightish pen I will say this feels a little bit heavier than the standard pen does uh, but I think I think it might just be a little bit of illusion because it's you know it's it's opaque and you can't see through it maybe that makes it feel lighter I don't know uh, but uh, posted lengths, uh, section diameters are all right in uh, a zone that I like a lot. I really like this, uh, like around 10 millimeters section diameter. The price on these is $495. That's for uh, one of these 3,776 units with a big old gift box and a fancy limited edition ink, which looks like it's going to be pretty cool. Although I haven't actually seen the ink myself, so it looks like it's going to be kind of a kind of a sheeny blue of some sort, which you don't really see from platinum. So it's nice to see a little something different there so let's uh let's try this out i have been waving this around a whole lot for this review so let's see what it looks like let's see if it starts up when i when i start writing 
Yeah, immediately. No problems at all. Yeah, you know, very nice writing pen. I like I said, I've really been enjoying this, and I don't usually use uh, the the fine nibs from Platinum because they tend to be quite fine, and I tend to write a little bit larger. But this is making me a believer, so that's cool. Uh, give you some squiggles here, and then we'll do a little bit of uh, you know a little bit of this action, and then I'll give it a little bit of pressure. And you can see the line does get substantially uh, wider. I'd say it's about double. But it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be massive or anything like that. Just a little bit softer. So works pretty nicely there. Let me give you a. This is a. Uh, I think this has a broad nib in it. That seems about right. So this is what the platinum broad looks like. It's not a massive line either. But this is a bit of a nail. You can uh, you ought not to push on these. They don't really they don't really do anything when you do. So uh, this one has a little bit of softness to it. It does feel very nice on the page and I haven't had any problems with it starting up. I mean, it started up right there after I've just been waving it around wildly for the last probably 20 minutes. So that's pretty neat. Uh, no problems with, with faster writing or scribbling or whatever. Puts down a nice line. And uh, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty darn good. So this is a pen that I've really enjoyed using. And I think it's definitely one worth checking out. If you've been wondering what this nib is going to be like, uh, if you can find one of these, there are still some out in the wild. I would like to see what, a, what a, the medium in this feels like. I think I might like the medium even more since I tend to go wider on my platinum nibs. But uh, yeah, this is, this has been really good. And um I think it's I think it's quite nice. So if you can find one of these out in the wild, I'd say give it a try, uh, and uh, you know, tell them tell them I sent you. And and thanks very much to where can I put this? We'll put this here. <laughs> and thanks very much to Matthew again for sending this out so that I could review it. Uh, I'll have this back in your hands, safe and sound, and soon. So uh, thanks very much, and uh, you know, you'll see you'll see me in another video soon. Peace out.